Now let's go ahead and talk about layer groups. Layer groups are an added way for you to group like layers together in Photoshop, and you can group these at your own description. Maybe you want to group all of your text layers together, or maybe you want to group all your green layers together, or maybe you want to group all the layers that have smart objects or what have you. Maybe you're working on web design and you're creating a header with menu links, and you want to have the header image and the links all grouped together la labeled under a folder called header. Well, you can do that in Photoshop, and it's really easy and intuitive to use. So what we need to do is we have this uh, Photoshop file here called plates.psd, and we just have a background, and then we have the individual plates separated out, plates, uh, plate one, plate two, plate three, plate four, and plate five. Let's say that we wanted to group all of these plates together and put them in a folder uh, so that we can recall these later and we can also edit these together. So I just selected them all. So I can select the first one and hold down shift and select the last one. And then if you go to the bottom, there is a folder, which is a create a new group folder. So if I click on that, it's going to take all of those layers and stick it in this folder called group one. Now there's a little arrow next to this. And if I click on that arrow, I can see all of those plates in that group. So we can double click on the group name and we can just call it say plates group or plates or whatever we want to call it. And now I know that I have this group in this folder and I can edit this folder however I see fit. So I can turn this folder off and on. So if I turn that on, I'll see all five layers pop on at one time or I can open up that group and I can see the individual layers inside of that group. Now the groups and the folders are going to work just like they would work any other layer. So if you have multiple groups, you can move them around and you can stack them on top of one another. I can also come in here and I can take these, like say I didn't want plate five in this group, I can click and drag and pull it out of that group by going until you see a blue bar above the group. So if I move it above that group until I see that blue bar and I let go, now that plate number five isn't in that group. And we can reorganize these the same way we would reorganize layers. So I can drop plate five underneath that plate group, but it's not in that group. If I wanna put it back, I can click and drag and when I see it highlighted around that folder or that layer group, I can let go and it'll put it back in there for me. So let's go ahead and undo that real quick. We'll get out of this group. You can also have groups within groups. So I could have plate one, two, and three be in a group. Now the command to create a new layer group is control G or command G for Mac OS, and that will create a new group for us. So I can have those three in one group, and then I can have four and five in another group, and then I can take these two groups and I can put them together. And so when I hit the drop down arrow, you can see group three has group two and one, group two has plate four and plate five, and group one has plate three, plate two, and plate one. I can edit these, move them, and arrange them any way that I would normally do any other layers. So that is how we group inside of Photoshop. And it gives us the ability to keep things nice and organized. And again, we can search for them up here at the top through the search bars and find all of these groups uh, together. We can also do things such as turn visibility on and off of a group, and we can lock the group down. If we want to lock a whole group down, we can do that also. You can also apply edits to a whole group. So for instance, uh, let's go ahead, hide the background layer, and I'm just going to create a new layer. We'll call this background. And let's go ahead and just fill this with black so you can see. So here we have a uh, we have a, a background, a black background that's a regular layer, and then we have all of our individual plates. And if you keep in mind, each one of these are separated out with a transparent layer so that we can edit them. So we have this here, and say we want to edit all these together at one time. Well, I would have to go through and select all these and use the move tool, and then I might deselect one, but then uh, when I move them, they don't all move together. Well, we can, we can make multiple edits at a time by using groups. So if I select all these and I put them back into a group, well, with that group selected, I can now add adjustments to this group 
together. So what do I mean by that? Well, we can add different things such as layer styles and layer effects to this group. So if I click on the effects button down here at the bottom, and I'll show you some more of this in a little bit, but I go to stroke, it's gonna open up a panel here. And say I wanted to give every one of these plates some kind of stroke or outline around them. I can do that all at one time with the layer group. So let's just select a color that's easy to see. And as we begin pulling up the stroke size, you can see that it's affecting all of these individually, but it's all applied to this one group. So this is a great way for us to have the ability to affect multiple things at one time. So I'll hit OK. And then now what happens is you see the group here, plates, you see the effect and the stroke. I can hide those if I want to. But that is being applied to the group as a whole, not to the individual layers. So the layers themselves don't have any strokes on them whatsoever, uh, but the group itself does. So not only does groups allow you to organize things nice and easily, but it's also going to allow you to affect multiple things at one time within that group.